Okay, we are recording. Hello, my name is Donette Douglas. I am the station manager here at WTJR in Quincy, Illinois. WTJR stands for Working Together Till Jesus Returns. And that's what we strive to do here at WTJR each and every day. This program behind the scenes is recorded right here in the studio, 222 North 6th Street. We're located on the second floor. And as always, we have a lot of information to share with you today. Before we go to that, I want to say hi to all of the of my sisters and the brother that attended the women's prayer, um, I should say lunch or brunch, uh, last Saturday in Hannibal, Missouri. I was very honored to be asked to speak to them, and the uh, message was faith over fear, faith over fear, and we just had a great time of fellowship, got to see some ladies I haven't seen for a while, and catch up, you know, on what's going on in our lives, and, and several had questions about WTJR, and it was just a great, great time, and I believe God gave us a wonderful word, because he always gives me a lot of scriptures when I speak. And there's nothing more powerful <laughs> than the Word of God, than the blood of God, and the name of Jesus. Them are all the most powerful things. There's the name of Jesus, there's the blood of Jesus, and there's the Word, which is Jesus. Amen. Powerful in our lives. So I just wanted to give a shout out and say hi to you. I had a great time. God bless you for loving on me and uh, allowing me to come and spend that time with you. Amen. Amen. Okay, we have a few pictures from in the studio last week, last Friday on Pray 16. Terry Mayer, pastor of Hannibal True Church. Um, and Hannibal, Missouri, was here to co-host with Gary Wallace. He's the pastor at River of Life Church. It was good to have Gary back. He'd been on vacation for a couple weeks, and uh, that just shows a little different angle. You can see some more of the sets in our studio. Amen? We taped uh, Pastor Speaks program. This is evangelist Steve Yeager. Uh, he is from Franklin, Missouri, and uh, when he left here, he was going to St. Louis, get on a plane. He's got several speaking engagements coming up, and he brought a wonderful message I know will encourage you if you will just tune in to Pastor Speaks, and I'll give you those times later on. And then we had Revive America live right here in the studio. Jeff and April Davis were here, Captivated Praise, uh, to do the worship. Just a wonderful, blessed, anointed time of worship. Enjoyed it so much. And then, <coughs> excuse me, then we had a message with, a rat, with evangelist Robert Newton. And uh, here's a few pictures. It was exciting because we have started having a phone operator on the program <clears throat> so people can call in, prayer requests, praise reports. And so that's why you see the number on the screen. And we do have prayer in the studio afterwards for anybody that would like prayer. Uh, prayer is very, very important in a Christian's life. It really, really is. And I'm excited about this next uh, step or the addition that we are putting onto this live program because I think it is very essential and vitally important. Amen? Amen. Okay, want to give you an update on our new tube for the transmitter. Got another donation this last week, $4,344. And we're climbing right up the ladder. Amen. I know $63,000 is a lot of money, but you know, with God, all things are possible. And to God, that's not anything. But it's us that have to be obedient when God lays on our heart to donate to whether it's WTJR or another ministry or outreach, that we're obedient to do it. So I do thank all of you 
that have been sending in a donation, be sure and write on your check. It's for the new tube uh, for the transmitter. And uh, we'll see that it gets in the right expense account to help pay that bill. Yes, thank you so much. Amen. Monday here in the studio, we invite you to come and pray with us. We have one hour prayer, and uh, of course, we are located at 222 North 6th Street. On the second floor, you will have to ring the doorbell, and we would be more than honored to have you pray with us and stand in faith on God's word. We believe that if you pray uh, and believe, you will receive. And uh, I've believed that for a long time, and I've seen it work in my life. So I'm thankful that we have that privilege of praying and entering the throne room of God. Amen? Amen. If you need prayer, call the station here anytime. 217-228-1616. If you happen to get the answer machine, please just leave your name and your number that you'd like prayer, and we will get back with you. Be sure you add the area code 217, because there are now two area codes in this area, and you need to add 217 to reach WTJR. So winning training, if you're interested in any soul winning training, I'm excited. I'm going to go away in a couple weeks. And um, I will get to do some evangelistic training. I always love to encourage people to uh, tell people about Jesus. Just go tell people. Tell them the testimony of what God's doing in your life. We do use the soul winning script from the Great Awakening here on WTJR. And our theme scripture is from Mark 16, 15. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Special programming. Now, last week when I um, gave information about the documentary specials that we've been airing on Saturday evenings at 7.30, I gave you the wrong week, okay? I was too far ahead. And this will be this coming weekend. Now, I know uh, Behind the Scenes plays on Friday evening, so I'm praying that I'll catch some people that will get to watch In God We Trust. This is a musical um, it, it's a wonderful, wonderful musical, and you want to be sure and watch this. Saturday, September the 4th, 7.30 to 9 p.m. Now, the coming week, our documentary special will be First Landing at 7.30 p.m. And, of course, these are documentaries produced by CBN Christian Broadcasting Network. Uh, Gordon Robinson is the host, and it's about Israel. And then at 8.30 p.m., we will uh, play a half-hour program about Pocahontas and about her life and how she was called the Dove of Peace. So be sure and mark your calendar for these specials coming up. Also, I want to give you a little bit of an update. Last week, uh, we showed the, the trailer from the upcoming movie, Show Me the Father. Now, this is from the creators of War Room and Courageous. You remember those movies? The Kendrick Brothers produced them. And this will be in theaters September the 10th. And I have been uh, keeping in touch with the theaters. And I can tell you that it will air in Hannibal, Missouri. It will be at the B&B &B Theater. It will also be in um, Quincy, at the AMN Classic, and also at the AMN Classic in Galesburg, Illinois. Now, I did call the uh, um, theater in West Burlington, Iowa. Uh, they're not going to be showing it. And the theater in Macomb, Illinois, they had no information at this time. But you can go to Hannibal at the B&B &B Theater and the AMC Classic here in Quincy, or in Galesburg, Illinois, and they also have private theater rentals um, for one to 20 guests, so you might want to contact them with information about that also. But later on, we're going to show you the trailer of this movie. I'm, I'm planning on attending. I, this trailer just so blessed me, and uh, it's going to be a powerful movie, just like War Room. I still think about that movie, especially the... Um, part where the lady <laughs> was praying. Oh my goodness, that prayer that she prayed. She prayed heaven down. Amen. So mark that on your calendar and check with your theaters if uh, I didn't announce them airing it. 
download the CTN app. I was talking with a gentleman today, and, and he's not from the area. I was wondering how he could watch the shows. He was quite surprised when I told him that CTN has an app. You can put it on your iPhone or your tablet or your Android phone. But also, if you have Roku or Apple TV on your television, you can put the CTN app. So when you travel, and I've heard this many times, even people go to larger cities, there is no Christian television or Christian music. But if you have that CTN app on your phone, you can take it with you. Isn't that wonderful? All 23 of our affiliate stations are on there. WTJR is on there. And you can be blessed and get some inspiration, some good news. Amen. Amen. So download that CTN app and tell your friends about it, okay? Also, I want to encourage you to friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. And uh, we have some live programs on there, of course. Pray 16 on Fridays at 11 a.m. is on our Facebook page besides channel 16.1. And also the Revive America program. Now, normally, Revive America is the first Tuesday of the month. But in August and September, uh, with the tent ministry, we sometimes have to schedule it on a different Tuesday. But normally, the first Tuesday of the month, we at 7 p.m., we have worship. At 7.30 p.m., we have a message with Evangelist Robert Newton. We also put community calendar of events. I put some scriptures on there from time to time. We have some video and information about the station on there. So please friend us on our Facebook page at WTJR TV. Coming up on A Woman's Joy this next week is part 11. This was a 13 part series, Bible trivia series on faith. And you can watch that on Tuesday at 9.30 a.m. and Friday at 9 p.m. Behind the Scenes, a program you're watching right now, airs on Fridays at 6 p.m., Sunday at 7.30 p.m., and Monday at 1 p.m. Christ Video on channel 16.1 is aired on Tuesdays at 3 p.m., Friday at 10 p.m., and Saturday at 11.30 p.m., and this is a music video program produced by Jim Wilson, our engineer here at WTJR. Conquering Your Giants, hosted by Duke Duvall, and this message this coming week will be, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. If you want to watch any of our previous local programs and you missed them, just go to our WTJR YouTube page and you can watch them anytime at your leisure. Amen? Conquering Your Giants airs on Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. and Sunday at 6.30 a.m. Outreach Connection. And we have a new host for Outreach Connection. I shared last week, uh, Timothy got a job promotion which does not allow him to take programs with us anymore. We, we appreciated Timothy. He did a wonderful, wonderful job. And so God has led us to a new host, and it is Mrs. Sandy Axton. She is the wife of Pastor Robert Axton, and they minister together at the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. And this program, next week, I will be introducing Sandy Axton to all of you. So you want to be sure and watch that program on Monday at 11 a.m., Wednesday at 9 p.m., and Saturday at 5 p.m. Pastor Speaks. I'm going to re-air this program. It was such a powerful program with evangelist Terry Scarborough. And tell your friends about this program and, and write these times down so they can watch it. He's from New London, Iowa, and his message was My Miracle. And I want to tell you, I was honored to be able to see his miracle. I've known Terry for many, many years. He went through a car accident, was left uh, in great pain with his back. He had to uh, walk with a cane. Um, he was he get to he couldn't hardly get up and walk, and uh, but God, I even happened to be at the uh, service when he was prayed for, and God healed him, 
and you have to listen to this program and it will encourage somebody just tell people to tune in for pastor speaks this next week on sunday at 2 p.m tuesday at 1 30 p.m and wednesday at 7 30 p.m they will be encouraged yes they will amen Pray 16 this next week on uh, September the 10th. I almost said August. I'll tell you, I haven't got used to September yet. But on September the 10th, Friday, uh, Pastor Brandon Mize with Calvary Tabernacle will be the co-host with Gary Wallace on Pray 16. This is a live call-in prayer show. It's on channel 16.1 live as we're actually here in the studio and on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. On Friday from 11 a.m. to 12 noon, we do repeat the program on Mondays at 9 p.m. You can call in during the program. We have operators here. We have an operator for the repeat show also, okay? Or you can email pray16 at WTJR.org. Live Amer Revive America Live at 7 p.m. Again, we will not have one in September because of the tent schedule. We did two programs here in August. Uh, so it will be Tuesday, October the 12th, but go ahead and mark it down on your calendar because you can come here and be in the studio. We have live worship at 7 p.m. We have the message at 7.30 p.m. After the message, uh, um, Evangelist Newton will pray for people. You can call in during the program for prayer. And if you do want to come to the studio, be here by 645. And uh, again, uh, you want to be a part of this anointed Revive America message. Mark it on your calendar, Tuesday, October the 12th. The Simple Truth with John Furness. And he just uh, ended a series on the Gospel of John. And now he has gone back to the Gospel of Matthew. This is part one. You can watch that on Monday at 7.30 p.m. and Sunday at 2.30 p.m. Hometown happenings. There's a map of our DMA area. The yellow area is where we reach over the air, on cable, and on the DISH network. And that's about 60 to 70 miles out and around Quincy in all directions. Uh, you can also web stream our programs on WTJR.org, all four channels. I do want to highlight this week a very special event coming up here in Quincy. The 9-11 Memorial Service, Patriot Day. And it says, Where Were You When? This will be on Saturday, September 11th at 9 a.m. in front of Quincy City Hall, 730 Main Street here in Quincy. It's a time to remember the events of 9-11 with local first responders, officials, and pastors. And I believe this year is the 20th year uh, since the 9-11 event. So mark that on your calendar. Come and be a part of this event in memory of those who have served and are still serving our country. And, uh, and there'll be pastors there, we'll have prayer together, and we will remember and encourage one another, Saturday, September 11th, 9 a.m. So if you have an event at your church or an outreach ministry, get me the information, send it here two weeks ahead of time. You can email tv16 at wtjr.org. We'll put it on Hometown Happenings, our WTJR community calendar, and uh, also on our Facebook page. Amen, amen. Thank you. Hey, what do you think of my new microphone here? No, it's not really new. <laughs> it may look like we're going backwards, but we're not, because truth is, it has a better sound than for some reason on this set. Don't know what it is. It kind of muffles when I wear that uh, lapel mic. So we thought we'd try something and go back to this mic, and it seems to be working very well. So um, I'm excited. <laughs> God always makes a way, doesn't he? Things come, come up. It seems like a problem. God makes a way. Amen. Amen. Okay. Uh, let's go to the trailer for the movie, Show Me the Father. 
Again, this will be in theaters September the 10th. And um, I pray that you'll take time and go and watch it. Take a friend. That's a big good time to get out with your spouse or a friend or your, uh, you know, uh, maybe somebody uh, that you think needs to have some encouragement, maybe, you know, and uh, take them and see this movie. Show me the father. Haven't I been a good father? I need somebody to show me. You're pushing all the buttons that men want to hear their dads. All of us have a fatherhood story. My dad was my hero growing up. My father was somebody who disappointed you. To have my father proud was my sole purpose of playing football. I want to make a difference in the lives of young people the way my father made a difference in my life. We put a representation of our father in all of our movies. I prayed for me and my brother and my mom to get through this night. I think we lived in seven different houses, kind of running from my dad. I started losing my ability to walk. We didn't realize the war that was going on inside of him. Wishing that I could just die. Lord, why didn't you give me a dad I could call? Because I need wisdom right now. I knew that I wasn't prepared to be anybody's mom. I was doing the right thing for him. I panicked. And Sherman says, man, listen, calm down. It is a beautiful thing to have a child. This is why I do what I do. For guys like that. I mean, it was like the hair on the back of my neck is standing up. She said, I can tell that you already love her. And I did. I would get asked about family history. I didn't have any answers because I didn't know. Did you have a baby in 1972 in Allegheny County? She says back, yes, I'm as is her. I'm stunned. He's real. He's really out there. And this is really him. This is really him. In the Bible, the blessing was everything. I declare that you are a beloved son in whom we are well pleased. You're pushing all the buttons that men want to hear their dad say. It was the first time I had been called out like that. He was that first man that paid attention to me. He was treating me like a bad boy. Your perfect father in heaven can change the trajectory of your life. It's like the light came through. And I wept till I couldn't weep anymore. You are unconditionally loved. Haven't I been a good father? I need somebody to show me. Amen. Amen. I'm looking forward to going to see that. Like I said, I've already checked. B&B Theater in Hannibal, Missouri will be airing this. And also the AMC uh, Classic uh, here in Quincy and in Macomb will both be airing it. So I'm excited to go, and uh, I hope you'll go too. Tell your friends. Amen? Okay. We praise God for it the hope we can have through Jesus Christ. And people are looking for hope now, aren't they? They are looking for some hope. And here at WTJR, we are preaching the good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ to the nations, 24 hours, seven days a week. The scripture I want to use today is Matthew 28, 19 through 20. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Go therefore and make disciples, teaching them. We've been talking about this for several weeks, and I gave you the meaning for a disciple, one who accepts so first, we would have to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior to be a disciple of Jesus Christ, a follower of Christ. And then we are to assist in spreading the doctrines of another, such as Christianity. It doesn't stop when you say the salvation prayer. Then we are to go forth and assist to tell work, encourage, support others, tell them your testimony, share the scriptures with them, invite them to church, invite them to a Bible study, invite them to a prayer meeting. We are to assist them 
that they will become disciples and followers of Jesus Christ. And I want to read for you out of Matthew 12. Let me find my, I had so many sheets today, notes. But I want to read Matthew 16, 24 through 27 out of the Amplified. And the title of this section in the Bible, it said, Discipleship is Costly. Well, first of all, I think the greatest witness any of us have, and we don't even have to say words, is the life that we live before others. But it will take some time. It will take some making choices to serve God. Sacrifices. Because it is costly. But I tell you what, there's an old song, there's too much to gain to lose. It will be wonderful. <laughs> this song, I can't even imagine what heaven is like. I can't. I can only imagine. Matthew 16, 24 through 27 says, Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wishes to follow me as my disciple, again, that's a desire and a choice we have to make. He must deny himself. And that's hard to do. This flesh will raise his ugly head up and scream and holler and be loud. But with God, all things are possible. You have to keep pressing on. You have to set aside selfish interest. And boy, I tell you, we get to be selfish sometimes. It's about me, me, me. We have to take up his cross, expressing a willingness to endure whatever may come. Jesus suffered. But he suffered for you and I. He knew he was going to the cross. He knew he was going to shed his blood. And he made that choice when God asked him. You know, even in the garden, he said, not my will, but yours be done. Because he was struggling. That flesh was struggling against the spirit. The son of man was struggling against the son of God. And follow me. Believe in me. Conforming to my example or Jesus' example and living and if need be, suffering or perhaps dying because of faith in Christ. We may have to come to that one day. We know we have brothers and sisters now over in Afghanistan that their life is put on the line. They're having to make a choice. For whoever wishes to save his life in this world will eventually lose it through death. But whoever loses his life in this world, for my sake, will find it. Discipleship is costly, but oh, it's worth the price. God bless.